Good morning children. Today I'll be dealing with two types of respiration, aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration of the chapter respiratory system. This is the sixth video class and I am Miss Luna Prasad. So pay attention and follow the lesson. Now the first type of respiration which I am going to deal with is aerobic respiration. Now when we inhale oxygen, that is during breathing, when we inhale oxygen, then it goes into our lungs and from the lungs it goes into our blood through the circulatory system and from there it goes into all the body cells of our bodies. So oxygen reaches from the lungs to all the cells of our bodies. And this oxygen, it helps in oxidizing glucose. That is glucose gets oxidized and broken down into carbon dioxide and water. That is glucose combines with oxygen and carbon dioxide water and energy is formed as end products. That is oxidation of food takes place. During our inhalation process, the oxygen goes into our cells, body cells and these products we get. Because this type of respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen, it is called aerobic respiration. And this type of respiration takes place a partially in the cytoplasm and mainly in the mitochondria of all the cells of our bodies. Now we come to the next type of respiration that is anaerobic respiration. This respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen. Now there are microorganisms like yeast, bacteria, fungi, certain parasitic flatworms and also human beings. Sometimes we undergo aerobic and aerobic respiration. Now in this type of respiration which takes place in the absence of oxygen, glucose is partially broken down into ethyl alcohol. This is the formula of uh, 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 ethyl alcohol, this is the formula and this is the equation of anaerobic respiration. This is the equation of aerobic respiration. This is the equation of anaerobic respiration. Here glucose is partially broken down in the absence of oxygen to form ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide and energy. But the energy liberated during anaerobic respiration is very less compared to the energy liberated during aerobic respiration. Now, these organisms, that is, uh, uh, one of them is yeast, it is quite important. What happens? That uh, the organism yeast, it is utilized in making wine, beer, because in the absence of uh, oxygen, the glucose, it gets formed into ethyl alcohol. So because ethyl al alcohol is formed, so it is utilized in making, in, in the brewery industry, that is in the making of beer, wine, etc. Also, it has another important purpose, that is in the bakeries, the bakers, they utilize the yeast. Now, yeast is commonly found in the air, in the atmosphere around us. They are single-celled organisms and they decompose, that is break down and form ethyl alcohol, water and energy. And it helps in the rising of dough. That is when we knead the flour, then it makes the dough rise up if we apply yeast to it. Earlier the bakers, what they used to do, they used to make a mixture of uh, uh, flour and sugar and water and they used to keep it uh, in the open for several hours. 
then a lot of yeast used to collect and they used to collect that yeast and apply them for their baking of bread and other cake, cakes, pastries etc. But nowadays people, that is the bakers, they are using commercially prepared yeast. Now this anaerobic respiration, it takes place only in the cytoplasm of the cells. That is only in the cytoplasm anaerobic respiration takes place. Now, we also human beings, we undergo anaerobic respiration at times. Just now I told you that when we inhale oxygen, the whole body gets supplied with the oxygen and complete uh, oxidation of glucose takes place. But just now I am going to tell you that sometimes anaerobic respiration also takes place. Now where and when does it happen? Now sometimes when we do very strenuous exercise like cycling, brisk walking, running, heavy weight lifting etc. So that time what happens? Our muscles they get uh, collected with a lot of lactic acid. Now actually when we are doing these exercises, heavy exercises, cycling etc. We require a lot of energy. That is the demand of, ox uh, uh, the demand of energy increases. So we want a lot of energy to carry on the process. But the energy which we get is less. Why? Because a lot of oxygen, a regular supply of oxygen is required. Now the oxygen supply which is required, we don't get. We get how much oxygen we get? That much of energy we are getting a lot. But because too much of oxygen supply is not there, since we are doing heavy exercise, doing exercise or running and jumping very fast, so less amount of oxygen is delivered to our body cells. And that results in the anaerobic respiration because Energy is required to do our work and because the actual way we are not getting the energy, so the body begins respiring, that is the muscle cells, it be begins respiring anaerobic re res uh, respiration uh, in, the, in, in the anaerobic way to supply our energy demands. But complete demand is not satisfied and our body muscles, they start paining, that is cramps develop. Now why do the cramps develop? The cramps develop because a lot of lactic acid is produced during anaerobic respiration. When the plants they have anaerobic respiration, ethyl alcohol is formed. Just now I told you yeast, it forms ethyl alcohol during anaerobic respiration which takes place in the cytoplasm of the cells. In our cells, what happens? In the human beings, when uh, glucose partially de uh, decomposes or oxidizes, lactic acid is formed. In plants, ethyl alcohol is formed. In animals or human beings, lactic acid is formed. And this accumulation of lactic acid, it brings about body pain, fatigue, cramps, etc. You must have experienced this when you must have taken a race or done a lot of athletic work in your school and you must have got very tired. Now, how to get rid of this? How to become refreshed? For this, what we do? We take a hot water bath. That is, if you take a hot water bath or a nice gentle massage, a gentle massage with lukewarm water. Sorry, a, a massage with a lukewarm oil. Okay, hot water bath and massage with a, a lukewarm oil. It will relieve you from your cramps and your body pain. Now, why this occurs? Because when you have a nice massage or hot water bath, then the circulation of the blood begins tremendously, okay? The circulation of the blood begins very fast and lot of circulation of blood takes place 
and because the blood is circulating very fast then oxygen supply also is done in all the body parts or throughout the body and when oxygen supply takes place throughout the body then what happens lactic acid is further converted to carbon dioxide and water lactic acid will get converted into carbon dioxide and water and when it is converted to carbon dioxide and water the pain goes and you become refreshed for the next set of exercises later on so this is about anaerobic respiration in human beings why it happens just now i told you strenuous exercises cycling etc then the cramps occur lactic acid accumulates in our body cells in our muscle cells and then how to get rid of that the lactic acid gets converted into uh, carbon dioxide and water with massage with uh, lukewarm oil or with hot water bath because our circulation of the the blood increases a lot now we come to the details of aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration now once again here in aerobic respiration breakdown of glucose takes place it is a process of breakdown of glucose in the presence of oxygen and here breakdown of glucose takes place in the absence of oxygen absence of oxygen it will take place now the second point is that glucose here is it is completely oxidized and here glucose is incompletely oxidized now the third point is that the end products are carbon dioxide water and energy and here what you will get as end products carbon dioxide ethyl alcohol in the case of plants for example yeast i told you and lactic acid in the case of animals and of course energy is liberated which is very less in amount now again here energy released is more much more compared to anaerobic respiration it is around 38 atp molecules and here energy released is very less 2 atp molecules just 2 atp molecules and then this takes place in all higher organisms and this takes place in microorganisms like fungi yeast bacteria some of the parasitic uh, flatworms then in muscle cells of man also now this is the whole what you say equation of aerobic respiration glucose oxidizes that is combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide water and of course energy is liberated and here what happens glucose in the absence of oxygen gets converted to ethyl alcohol carbon dioxide and energy so children i hope you have understood aerobic respiration anaerobic respiration now that's all for today the next day we will proceed with respiration in human beings the details how it takes place physiologically so thank you children